totally cool just standing on the creep wave and so Arc Warden can't really use his Q that effectively on you. He finally shows up, locks him in with the Sprout here. Our men's gonna have to go straight up. Weeha is down to fight this a little bit, but he's taking a lot of damage to Soul Ripple. Heal him back up here, but being blocked so well by the tree. It's really well done by S4 right now. And Weeha should be dying here. Is it gonna say one step ahead? No way. They barely missed out on the first blood here. And it looks like they may actually get oh, second man, that, blood. Those tree amp blocks. He is so good. S4. He oh. used the same treants to block the next guy. So as you were saying, Morphling doesn't really care about most of this. It's only the Reaper Scythe, which we don't have yet. Here's our, our first blood, which Nygma barely managed to snatch away from Alliance, who were just about to get that kill. Bottom oh, lane back in the game, dead. where Limp picks up level 6 and immediately kills Miracle. Yeah, that. I mean, this is the hero anytime there's an Arc Warden in the game. Nico, baby. Ooh, that was a little close, but gets off the Magic Wand and Weeha's dead. He has no TP for 40 seconds. Oh, oh dear. Man. Offline. Sure, sure. Nice stack. Hey, he's got a very healthy stack here. Once again, the tree and surrounding RMN. RMN, he knows he's going to get locked in. He's trying to work around it as best as possible, but he just can't. He just can't, damn it. Problem, it's the fact that he's just playing in the offlane. Like, this is yeah. not something a Morphling is particularly used to. They're going to pull a limp behind Weeha. Clever move here from FNG that sets up a pretty easy kill. Even the Wrath of Nature just ensuring it. Nico, baby, won at the last hit. Because he, he's probably feeling a little poor right now. Doesn't get it, though. Limp continues to uh, extend a bit of a lead here. Long jump in. <laughs> just snatch away that Arcane Rune. Pulls in Miracle. They're going to manage to get this kill. And Limp, while well, he's running a little bit low on mana here, so very likely to be run down. They do manage to kill the Tombstone, and S4 is getting out. So it's going to be a two-for-one trade-off. Extremely smart that they did that with the Chen. Uh -huh. And they, they have the items. They have items that I think, if they have a lead, they'll deal with the two <laughs> of Nygma. Limp just will not leave Miracle alone when it comes to these power runes. And again, they bring him down. Again, Limp is out of mana and may actually be run down here by Nygma. Swap back here, a little bit more damage. They do manage to get that kill. Supernova's up, but he can't get it off. He gets stunned up and brought down. The Tombstone is going to play Havoc here to the rest of Alliance, though. As they are stuck inside of that, do they have a stun? They do. Dragon Tail will stop FNG from being able to TP out. That'll be four dead on the side of Alliance. So it looks like this time around, Miracle's like, boys, back me up on this one. Because the Undying here to try and push back Mind Control and RM in as they are trying to finish up the tower right now. If you could just delay Limp them, still, they might be able to catch something here. As Limp is going to be able to get in there, pull back onto Mind Control. Good amount of damage. RMN still healing him up. But a middle middle from Nico, baby, and it's just enough damage to be able to get the kill with the help of Limp. Alliance, the pressure is on them to make a move. They need to get this mid tower. They need to get this top tower. RMN, don't think that Tombstone was worth laying out there, homie. Uh, it gives up a little. Reason to delay the game for as long as humanly possible. Basically, if you go to the late game, Arc Warden will win, unless he gets caught out just like this. Yep, so you get a miracle. He was having a good time using his hand of Midas. He was getting way ahead of everybody, and then all of a sudden. Uh oh. And the courier as well, apparently. Easy money. That's a free bounty. 70 gold each. Look at that. They have the Dragonite coming over. Uh, but Alliance also has a wrap behind Miracle here. Limp makes his jump on in. They're going to try and finish him off with a magic missile. Miracle trying to protect himself underneath that magnetic field. Meanwhile, Nico Baby is able to easily get away from Mind Control and RMN. This is the difference. The Morphling is not scared of the heroes that rotate in. They don't have damage to threaten him. Meanwhile, this Dark Warden gets run over anytime uh, Limp's around. But then, somehow, he just has Guardian Greaves right now. He's been, like, silently farming this whole time, taking the space. Our man really doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. At the same time, Nygma is going to make a smoke move into a support as well. This one is going to be FNG. He's a bit hard to kill, though. He yeah, doesn't have to heal. they're going to have to Reaper Scythe him. It does manage to bring him down, so he's dead for 48 seconds. You know, like, how much mana you have left and where you can zip with it. Like, I would 100% trust Limp to know this better than most pro Swap players. back in into Weeha here. Weeha still has Guardian Greaves to protect himself, but he may not be able to get it off. The Soul Rip comes in. A full heal on out. Now Supernova right in front of S4, though, so it's very quickly dealt with here. The Tombstone's still out. Never mind. Hanskin does manage to deal with that. They're laying damage into Nico Baby, but it feels like it's all for naught. He turns into an Undying, quickly drops a Tombstone of his own. Nico Baby getting a little bit low, but you could see the numbers are dwindling here from Nygma. All of their damage, Jenkins was aimed at that Morphling. 
and it wasn't even like that close. Yeah, that, I totally forgot about that counter, man. That's such a strong counter pick to this hero. We uh, bump back a little bit. Still has the Reaper Sight to work with, but Nico Baby healed himself up to oh, half health. Miracle, he's going to be pulled back into his doom here as the Alliance Ball continues to roll over Enigma here. All that team fight, man, and it did not pay out at all. Has all the heals. It's just a hard decision to make. Orchid with the extra damage there. GH will die and limp. We he's totally still got the mana to work with. Yeah, he's calling for uh, teleportation. It's going to be Mind Control TPing in. He heals himself up as much as possible. Mind Control is now here with the stun, but Nico Baby, he's going to join him. Turns into a Dragon Knight. Immediately Dragon Tails up the Dragon Knight himself and takes him down. Now they can keep hunting. Underneath the tower, RMN and uh, Weeha. They're just going to be hiding here. They spot him with a Sprout, but they don't get the swap off in time. They will take this tower, and S4, he's not going to let RMN get away. That's Solar Crest. Allowing him to do so much damage. And there it is, Nico baby. Waveforms on in, finishes off the kill. They get it was a long day God yesterday, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. A five-man smoke up. And here we go. We are. They're going to lead off. Oh, he's already morphed into strength. That's not good. If they can get off the Reaper's sight, it'd be okay, but he's been orking it up. The Necrophos doesn't manage to get anything off. There's the Reaper's sight, but they need to be able to slow down these heroes. Alliance just on the run. The Reaper's sight finally does catch. It gains hold and grabs S4 and brings them down to the grave. Seven. It's definitely been a lot this game. We've seen the Tombstone die quite a few times. Smoke's going to break here. Look going to be able to jump anybody they can. It's going to be RMN because uh, Mind Control was a little bit faster there with a Blink Dagger. So he was able to get out despite being Orchided. Two of it, but they're going to try and chip away. And they have a ton think. of minus armor. I mean, yeah. kill quickly. You have to react fast if you're Enigma. They're going to be able to jump on FNG really quickly. This heal has been very problematic for them, but they couldn't actually get a swap back there from Hanskin. Keeps him alive, and he's even keeping himself alive a little bit with the stick, but eventually he does die. FNG grabbing a centaur here, trying to get into position to get a stun off somewhere. Does manage to get a two-man stun while Limp enters back into the team fight. Straight on to Miracle here. Miracle's a little bit low with the Orchid. He does manage to finish him off, but Supernova is going to explode. Getting the stun on the Limp. Limp, he's going to be Reaper Scythe as well. Not quite enough damage to finish off the kill, but he gets it in the end. Now, Nico Baby going straight for GH as he's currently meteor hammering over the top of the tombstone. As for Nico Baby, finish that off, and now they're going to try and catch some more with the teleport aggressively in, looking for the Sprout, catches RMN. RMN still not having a way to be able to cut through these damn trees. Is caught time and time. Wrong about his timing when he dives in, and he is. He's already committed it. Does the Meteor Hammer. Okay, can't jump oh, in any longer control. unless my control tries to grab it. My control is stunned up. Dragon Tail on him, but Roshan's not dying fast enough. He gets it. My control grabs the Aegis, and he slowly waddles away with it. He'll eventually fall over, but Alliance. He's got a they, blink. Can they commit for him? Just no. Kidding. Wave of terror over the top prevents the blink. Nico Baby goes right into this jungle area. We hop fighting back with mind control here. Nico Baby's in pretty deep, trying to go for GH on the Phoenix. Turns his damage onto mind control. So much damage to Earth. The Guardian Grease, the Soul Rift. So many heals coming out from Nigma. Trying to keep everybody alive. The Orc a little bit more damage, and GH does finally go down. Hanskin looking for the swap back. Couldn't quite get the animation off, so he will back away. At to work with. He's got nothing to fear. Oh, oh, gets him! No. Tempest double kill S4. For believe he gets the experience for that, right? Because it's shared between the clone and the main hero. My control gonna be dragon tailed up here, but I believe his clone died for. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you're right. Pull it's back in. Weehan trying to keep our man alive here. Has the Reaper Scythe. He can catch Limp here, but the Limp, he pops the BKB as soon as he goes down to half health. Weehan still has a little bit of health to be able to work with, but it's not that much. Limp should be able to finish him off nice and easy, while Nico Baby looks to be able to track down Miracle. Limp all the way in. Had a regen rune, I believe, to work with in that fight. Catches him, pulls him back in. Nigma suffering loss after loss here. Suddenly the kids are getting fat. Maybe they're having more fun, but it's not it was resulting in some childhood ob obesity for sure. Yeah. We are uh, Ooh, pops a ghost shroud and there was so much magic damage. Now he's still gonna be able to heal up the full. This the problem is his team can't really bail him out. Goes for the Reaper side last second on the limp because he's like, well I might as well throw it down, but limp does not take that much damage for it. GH who completed a BKB just to try and deal with this nice net into meteor hammer combo that will kill Hanskin. 
Can they actually get to go back in here? They're going to go on S4. Supernova finally going down. Nico Baby immediately jumps in, tries to deal with the egg. Do they have any protection for it whatsoever? Again and again and again, they just cannot seem to protect GH and his Supernova. Yeah, usually you have some sort of like tiny or axe or whoever. Where's the Venn diagram of the bubble? Dragon Tail in on his Storm Spirit as he jumps in. Now he'll get some kills for it. RMN actually barely surviving there, but nice reaction there from Mind Control getting the instant stun onto Limp. The FNG is probably going to be left behind though. I mean, he, te he technically maybe could TP here. Okay, or you can oh, just die on RMN. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. works too. Dude, Nico Man, Baby. Is, is Nico Baby really just too strong to contend with? This Scotty. I mean, it plays havoc. I'll give you. Yeah. Paladin Sword picked up for the uh, Necrophos. That's a significant upgrade, no doubt. But is it an upgrade that will save anybody here? BKB immediately wow. goes off from GH. He has a BKB. Yeah. I like that. He's a, a golden fiery bird. They're going to try and play around this ward they have on the high ground here. Sunray going out. Trying to burn out some heroes with a tombstone on the high ground. I think Alliance are realizing this fight's going to be a little bit tough. The especially with the egg on the high ground. Underneath the magnetic field, Nico Baby's still going for it. He does manage to take it down. Him and Limp combine forces to be able to take down both the supports nice and quick. Hanskin does die in the meantime, but Limp is bouncing back in. Going for the Dragonite right now. The counter tombstone is doing so much work on the low ground. My control is trying to deal with it. He finally does manage to get it, but still, it is doing too much work. Now Limp and Nico Baby inside of the field going for Miracle. Knocks him up to the high ground. The high ground misses. Will not okay never mind now nope, they got him they got him and they'll stop weha from being able to tp out too man if they're triangle in a 12k gold deficit like where the hell are they i think they've got bkb on mind control and scotty on miracle so those are really big upgrades Oh, the word on the high ground. Swap back in down in the low ground. Miracles in big time trouble now. Tries to put himself up against the cliff with the bubble hanging out. It's actually pretty decent until Nico Baby jumps inside the bubble to be able to finish off Miracle. He's now dead. His Tempest double is still up and putting out some damage with a swap back in over to the high ground to get the Smurfling out of the area and make sure he's not going to get Reaper Sight just yet. Nico Baby going back in still has his, uh, no, he actually uses BKB. Limp actually getting stunned up. That's an unfortunate situation. They use the Reaper Scythe on him. All that magic resistance prevent the extra death timer but Limp still dies. He's immediately going to buy back. He sees this as an opportunity to be able to wipe out Nigma. See if they can actually just finish him off right here and now and take this game one. They're going to bring down Mind Control. Weeha's not going to be able to TP out. Those two heroes with no buyback RMN also going to be caught as he tried to TP away. That applies to closing out the game as well. Goes to the back lines, hits GH with the stun, turns into an undying real quickly, DKs them up before he gets the kill onto the Phoenix. Meanwhile, Weehaw's just being kited around while the rest of the team focuses on the tier fours. Throne is exposed. BKB is up on Nico Baby, jumps to the other side of things and completely ignores Miracle. Miracle gets out the magnetic field, trying to protect this throne, and it's very difficult to get inside of it. So Nico Baby, he's gonna have a hard time with this. Jumps to the other side, but it's you can still see it. The bubble perfectly matches the throne. AOE, and they're just wasting all their time. Finally, the magnetic fields are down. They're going to focus on the throne. They should be able to finish up. And oh, one more, a little bit more. They're jumping back and forth, trying to finish it off. The sun goes off on the morphling. They might actually be able to hold this a little bit longer. FNG S4 with the second life. He's swinging off the magnetic field. It's going to run out eventually, but the supernova, it explodes on him. Another buyback. Nico, baby, he has to go for it. It's all him, all the diebacks. He needs a lot of more. They're mad at me. He's serious. He's got a second one coming up, too. He's stunned up. They may just have all died back. He's actually gonna do it! Oh my god, the he's throne dead. stays alive! S4's pop back! He's TPing in, he's TPing in, he's hitting the throne! But it's healed up! He has to He's go. dead! He's There's actually the dead! Backs. They've all bought back! They've all died back! What? <laughs> what the fuck?! Creep, he's actually trying to grab the rest of the creeps and take them out, but his tier four is already down, going for the throne. They do have the meteor hand with a little no. extra damage. Sword Fear is coming back up, no. but they don't have a way to protect the ancient. They don't have that same kind of mumble. No. This is going to be miracle. Are the boys taking it for Enigma. Oh my god. <laughs>